doing guys? Joey with Biggs Media Studios. And I'm here um, to give the review for Taken. We might as well say all of them, right? One, two, and three. That's the review for one, two, and three. Okay. Liam Nielsen. Bro, what you want, man? That guy is so talented with his martial arts. From what he learned, oh my God. He whooped people's asses. Okay, the first one, he's looking for his daughter, right? Looking for his daughter. Right, am I right? How did it go? I hope I'm saying it right. I think the one, the first one is his daughter, right? I know that one's right. The second one, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this works. Then the second one to take his wife. And the third one to take him. Or both of them. I don't know, anyway. But he's badass. You know, when, when the guy said in the first one, like, uh, when he said, oh, I'm gonna find you, and I have a particular, a particular set of skills, and I will find you. And the guy says, good luck. I'm like, what the guy's talking about, man? You don't tell somebody good luck and you don't know who they are? I mean, come on, like, who are you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, thinking him, like, you don't know if this guy is well trained. If he said, if somebody said, I got a particular set of skills and I will find you, I will shit my pants. But this guy says, good oh, look. Are you retarded or something? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I cannot sit here and, you know, tell somebody good luck when I took something from him that belongs to him which is his daughter right that's one check mark two he's telling you nicely to come bring her back and that he can find you and he got a particular set of skills that means he will fuck you up alright he will kick your ass and I would not take that chance I mean if somebody's telling me they got a particular set of skills what, can they kill me? Like, like what the fuck, you know? I will sit here, I will ship her back to his, her dad immediately. Like, it wouldn't be no waiting game or, you know, I would have to go across country, different countries. Nah, man. Yeah, take your daughter, I'm, I'm okay. I just, I wanna be, a, I wanna live my life, you know? I don't wanna get beat up by no 60 something year old. Come on, man. Come on. People out here are crazy, man. First of all, why well, you gotta kidnap a girl, huh? There's mad, there's a lot of women out there who are giving up, you know what I mean, for free. There's women out there giving it up for free. As long as you get them a Snicker bar or maybe a pack of Reese's, I don't know, I'm just saying. But um, that movie, oh my God, I give it a two thumbs up. All three, I, I enjoyed all three. Okay, will I watch it again? Yeah. Now the floors, I, I think one of them, he was fighting some, some guy because, the, you know, they want revenge for their family or whatever. That guy knew how to fight too? He was total total with this guy. Oh my God. Those fight scenes. Those fight scenes. Oh my God. It was amazing. That movie was amazing. The old three parts all three parts so you know do i recommend it to everybody yes two thumbs up two thumbs up two thumbs up i actually will watch it again honestly i can't wait i can't wait to matter of fact 
I don't know, I already saw it already. But if you didn't watch it or you missed this, please watch it. It's amazing. The fight scenes, the drama, how this guy has, like, he can find himself wherever he is. Like, that's amazing. He knows how to use maps, coordinates. Excuse me. He just knows what to do. Like, you know, emergency, he's adaptable. You know? Um, ask me, will I watch it again? Maybe. You know? Maybe if I'm bored and I'm going to see an action movie, I will check that out. You know what I'm saying? He's a good actor. You know, he's a good actor. Liam Nielsen. Liam Nielsen. Yeah, man. You got it. You know, you got it. Um, I want... Now, I, I said give her a, a review before about Equalizer, right? Now, between him and the guy from Taken, I got my money on Equalizer. I said it before and I'll say it again. That guy can hold his own. I think it will be a tough-ass fight. But I give the edge to Equalizer because he's more calculating, you know? Like, he just sits there... He'll blend it with things, and he's like, where'd this guy go? You know? Like, where the hell did this guy go? And he's like, right above you with a flamethrower. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it is what it is, you know? So, uh, my thing is, check it out. Go check that movie out. Uh, you know, like I only said, I only recommend good movies. Tiger Edge. I only recommend good movies. During COVID, I, I was binge watching movies like crazy. You know, I was in my house, like, you know, I, I saw, like, among them, I saw Mortal Kombat. Uh, what else? I saw a whole bunch of stuff, man, that came out. Sonic, you know, the first one. I was binge watching movies like crazy. That's another thing. That's the next movie I'm going to make a review. Sonic Part 1 Sorry, I'm just scratching the bottom of my nose Oh my goodness, itch Some my allergies So what, what they need to do is okay, I'm a Thundercat fan right? From the 80's They need to do a live action Thundercat movie They were working on it I believe they had Brad Pitt As Lionel and Panther was like Vin Diesel I think that was a good idea I really think that was a good idea I mean, there's a lot of things that they could have done, and they just didn't do it. They they didn't, they didn't pull the trigger. These these networks need to sit down and really have a serious conversation of do we want to make more money? And we should hire Joey from Base Media Studio to give to be a consultant. I would give him the best advice. Done the cat movie, right? What else movie that would be good that wasn't made yet? Um, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Um, they should make... Honestly, they should make a live-action Looney Tunes movie. Why not? Disney's doing their, their thing, their, their, their cartoons. They should make like a Looney Tunes, Tiny Tunes, uh, Mighty Mouse, you name it. You name it, they should just do it real life movies, basically, you know, cartoon characters. That's what they should do. Uh, stuff that we grew up on, you know what I'm saying? They should make a Super Mario, but live action, but do it better. Not with, not with the guy from, you know, not John Leguizamo or the other guy, okay? Get people that can actually fit the role, the, the actors that can play it, you know what I'm saying? Um, what else they should do? They're, they're, Sonic is killing it, you know? Double Dragon. Oh my god, that was a good one. Uh, what else? Street Fighter. Do a better Street Fighter. They should do a Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. I think that would be a nice crossover. Like like Ryu versus um, Scorpion or Ken versus Sub Zero, you know? Like, I think that would be fascinating, honestly. They should do a Capcom versus Marvel, right? In our pre previous video, I said DC versus uh, Mortal Kombat. So why not do a Marvel versus Capcom? There's a whole bunch of things 
that can be done here, guys. Anyway, that's enough for this session. My rant is over. Uh, my review is over. Thank you for enjoying, listening. Please like, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, turn on your notification bell. And until the next video, all right? Have a good day and follow my, follow my other social media pages that's coming up at the end of the video. Peace.